Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome back to Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yesterday, I got the $4,000 question wrong because I trusted the phone a friend. I had an inkling before I phoned a friend, and I decided to go with a phone a friend anyways. I trusted their answer, and my original inclination was correct. So, yeah, that, that sucked. $1,000 is what I won. That brought my overall total to $77,316,442. So, let's try and do better today. Here we go. Question one for $100. In computer terminology, what does the acronym ISP stand for? That would be Internet Service Provider. Okay. Now going for $200. When a character has a uh, crush on a little red haired girl, that would be Charlie Brown. Okay, $300 question. Which of these is not found in a Snickers candy bar? Almonds. All right, $500 question is up next. Second year college student is a sophomore. All right, $500. Now the first guaranteed level question is incoming. Here it is for $1,000. Traditional English puppet shows who is married to the character Punch. Judy. Final answer. All right, good. Good start, $1,000 guaranteed, all the lifelines are there. Okay. Here we go for $2,000. What is the name of the fruit that is half tangerine, half grapefruit? I got this wrong once. I said kumquat. It is tangelo. Final answer. I first I first learned that from Drake and Josh, and then I think it was on another show, like Sweet Love Zack and Cody or something. Alright. If I have to use a lifeline in this, I'm not gonna be phony a friend. Just wanna make that clear. Cheddar cheese. Ooh, I think it's England. Final answer. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. $4,000. Seven straight without having to use a lifeline. Now we're going for 8000 Who are the know-nothings? I definitely remember this question. I think a political party. If if I, I think I remember this question from six years ago when I played this game. I think it's a political party, but I'm gonna 50-50 just to be on the safe side. Now A is kinda starting to sound right to me. Okay, I'll go with my original instinct. Yes, okay. All right. $8,000. Now we're going for 32. No, now we're going for 16,000. Lewis and Clark begin their famous expedition in 1804. I'm not sure. Seattle, maybe? Let's phone a friend. Please, 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 please give me the right answer. I'll pick B, St. Louis. Okay, St. Louis. Final answer. Thank you, Eric. Okay, that is $16,000. We still have the audience. Okay. Here we go for $32,000. Okay, a lorry in Britain is a truck. B is my final answer. Perfect. Excellent. All right. 32000 Now, last time I was five away from the million with the audience still intact, well, the audience, met, they, they, they screwed up my game on the 11th question, so... Hopefully that won't happen today. Here we go for $64,000. What is considered a proper way to address a duke? A or C, probably. Your Majesty, Your Excellency. Uh, let's ask the audience. Okay, well, Your Grace is the highest percentage, but that doesn't mean it's right. 
There's two that are very close. I have five seconds. Of it. I'll just go with your grace. Yeah! All right! Thank you, audience! Okay. 64,000. Four away from the million. Here we go for $125,000. Which of these actors did one hand push ups on stage at the 1992 Academy Awards? I don't know. Me, probably A, but I don't want to risk it. I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk. Jack Palance. Okay, well, now I know that. So that's good to know. Okay, $64,000. Not too shabby. So, that is added to my overall total, 64,000 bucks, and that brings it up to $77,380,442. So guys, that is it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Really appreciate it, and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Thanks guys for watching. Peace out.